Well, thank you so much, Pat, and, and everyone, uh, Judy, for pulling this together. I just have to look out here and say, what a wonderful group of people. This is a great crowd for a Saturday morning. Uh, and I also feel, as I look at your faces, I want to say, and we've been together so long. <laughs> um, I do feel that about eight years ago, we started a movement in California when uh, we began working for clean money, for public financing of elections, and for making sure that there be a level playing field, in this state at least, for people and ideas in our democratic political process. Uh, I know that I did a bill, I started with a bill my second year in the state legislature because I had figured out in my first year, when I had a couple of tax bills, that uh, the influence of lobbyists and the influence of money was so strong in Sacramento that I could not, without real, um, real government reform, be able to achieve the other goals of education, environmental quality, the other things that we want. And I didn't even know clean money existed at the time, but there they were. <laughs> Organized, articulate, had the data, uh, jumped in, and we began to work together on this issue. And Greenlining has just been a key partner from the very, very beginning, um, along with AARP, so many of the other organizations, Common Cause. And if you remember, we started with a big initiative that the California Nurses Association sponsored for the whole shebang, public financing for every office in the primary and the general election in California, which would have cost about $5 a year per adult Californian of voting age. As we used to say, Clean Money Campaign came up with this too, a latte and a muffin once a year. <laughs> Is democracy worth it? <laughs> And we didn't win that election. So we came back. And we did Prop 13, which, uh, 50. 50. Yeah, watch that. <laughs> <laughs> we did Prop 50, which was a pilot project, just doing it for one office, Secretary of State. And we faced very tough opposition on that. We came closer but we didn't win that one either. Now we have the Disclosure Act. It is a really tough and really honest and will be really effective way of letting California know, Californians know who is behind these initiatives. Because it doesn't let you hide under the nice name of people for good government or whatever. It will really make sure that people know who is paying for, um, for, for the initiatives. And now, I, I do want to say it's important that every one of you be there and be involved because it's going to be very hard to pass. You read the list of wonderful people, legislators like Bob <laughs> Bukowski, others who are co-authoring this bill, the organizations that want it to happen, it's going to be very tough to pass. The lobbyists in Sacramento do not want it to happen. And there is a big backlash, and they can be very threatening. Uh, when we did Prop 15, they really tried to make sure that I never got another contribution in Sacramento again. Very, very tough. Got to remember, it costs about $700,000 to run a contested primary for the California State Legislature. Most of that money comes from PACs and corporations. Most legislators are middle class people. They have to go there for money. There's enormous power there, enormous power. And you will be the countervailing force. So please be there, be articulate. But I want to tell you, if this will happen, and we will go on to get public financing of elections, I believe this. I believe that we started a movement. I am so grateful that the Occupy movement has this as one of their key things, the influence of money on political decision-making. 
that is going to help us enormously. And for democracy to survive and thrive, we are on the way. We will do it. And it's going to be the people in this room that make it happen. And thank you so much for everything that you do. <laughs>